Gaslighting is a term that has grown in awareness and even I am responsible for pointing at gaslighting phrases, which are everyday phrases which genuine people can use. Your child can stumble and fall over and you can just say, jump up, it's not that bad, which yes, technically is a gaslighting phrase. However, your intentions isn't to gaslight your child. Your intention is to get them to think about something else, to take the mind away from the pain, to toughen them up for the world that they are about to enter into. So yes, we are all potentially capable of saying a gaslighting phrase. The difference is the intentions behind the behaviour. With a narcissistic person and their gaslighting, there is a pathological intention behind their behaviour. There's more to it than just saying, oh, stop being so sensitive. Oh, do you not think you're overreacting a little bit? So when a friend comes and says, hey, this happened, and you're like, do you not think you're overreacting a little bit? And you're just trying to get that friend to calm down and sort of see sense and try and get them to see because you're not in what they are in at that present moment in time. You're seeing it from the outside. So you're actually trying to be helpful. With a narcissistic person, the term gaslight actually comes from the Patrick Hamilton playwright that was done in 1938 and then made into a movie in 1944, made into a film, Gaslight which is where the husband literally drives the wife into believing she's going insane by dimming the gas lights, by moving pictures around, by missing photos. Gaslighting is emotional manipulation when it's psychologically done to distort somebody else's reality, to drive someone into thinking they're going crazy. And the gaslighter won't just come along and gaslight you. They'll come along and earn your trust and give you the false hope that they will be there for you. And once they've created that idea within your mind, they will romanticise what life will be like with them. So it gives you a strong desire to want to work things through with them, even when things are going wrong. Once they've got you where they want you, they gaslight you, which places that fear within you. It places that panic within you. It places that paranoia within you. And then they blame you for your own paranoia. They accuse you. They move things and then accuse you of being the one who's paranoid. They cheat on you and then accuse you of being the one that's being paranoid. So a narcissistic person actually sets the environment. They set the stage. They emotionally manipulate they provoke those emotional feelings and reactions within you. And when you try to communicate with them, they blame those feelings that you're actually feeling because they provoke them within you. And because you're feeling them and take responsibility for your behaviour, you question your feeling and not their behaviour. A genuine person might make a joke that you take offence to and they say, oh, I was only joking. I didn't mean it which yes, are gaslighting terms. And then you can explain why you're hurt and they would be willing to listen and understand and find themselves digging them into a deeper hole, trying to get out the fact that they offended you. And they wouldn't repeat it. With a narcissistic person, they learn what hurt you and then they do it all over again. So something will happen and a narcissist will blatantly lie and tell you that that never happened. Not because they've forgotten, because they're blatantly lying to you. They will tell you something and they will tell you lots of little things and then tell you that they never said anything and then claim that you're the one that's imagining things, you're the one that's losing your mind. Yet they will say things to you purposefully to deny all knowledge of ever saying them to you. They will make a joke at your expense and they will purposefully make a joke at your expense and then claim that they're the ones that are only joking. Yet if you were to make a joke at their expense, whoo, you've got all hell to pay. They will attack you by accusing you of being the one that's too sensitive because they're very insensitive people. However, they're going to provoke those feelings of being sensitive within you before they go all out to attack you. They're going to wind you up. They're going to bait you. They're going to get you going until you have an emotional outburst. And then they're going to stand back there all smug and calm and say, no, you think you're overreacting a little bit. Perhaps you're having a bad day because they don't care. 
Genuine people who see someone's overreacting try to help them out. Narcissistic people try to make you feel worse. They will triangulate you against other people. They will praise somebody in front of you while ignoring your achievements. And if you say anything to them, they're going to accuse you of being jealous. And as you're feeling that little bit, ooh, it creates those feelings of jealousy within you. And they're going to go all out to put that fear into you that your emotions are wrong, to panic you, to cause that paranoia within you. They will literally hide things from you and then help you look for them. And then they will turn around and accuse you of the one that's got mental problems, of who is going crazy, so that they can control your emotions and control your reality. Your mind controls your emotions and you control your mind. So once you take back control of your mind, you can take back control of your emotions and the narcissist will be less able to gaslight your reality. When it comes to dealing with narcissistic people, one of your best lines of defense is to take your emotions out of the conversation because they rely on these to manipulate you.